another video. Madden just dropped another gridiron notes for Madden 21 franchise mode. And uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I haven't even looked into it. I skimmed uh, just a teensy wincy bit. But if you want to look at the link yourself, I will have it in the description down below. But some things that uh, before I get into like the actual deep dive of it, uh, the gridiron notes and things like that. Uh, I'm going to be going over face of the franchise, rise to fame, how you can launch your NFL legacy and high school, um, change the game. You can choose to convert from quarterback to halfback or wide receiver, and then you can go all out, um, shatter expectations at the NFL combine. So this is going to be absolutely crazy for, as far as the story mode is confirmed for franchise and or how you want to create your legacy in franchise mode Madden hasn't had something like that in a long time I think it's going to be super innovative to see how deep this story mode goes but um I think it's taking the correct path in terms of having a story mode the next step is actually having people um having that seven on seven online where we can take these players from this story mode and actually play with them without friends and things like that so hopefully Madden is trending into that direction I know it takes a while for them to develop things and stuff like that but this is something they should have obviously already had in the game considering their competition 2k um, their own uh, what do you call it? Um, brothers and sister uh, sports franchises EA Sports FIFA, EA Sports Live had these things already. So it's going to be uh, super interesting to see in the future what Madden comes up with. But they start off by saying, welcome back to Gridiron Notes, Madden fans. Today we're focusing on the updates coming to Face of the Franchise and Classic Franchise in Madden NFL 21. In the Face of the Franchise section, you'll you will see the chapters of your career detailed out starting in high school. We are also sharing the storylines you can experience in your NFL career. Take note of these storylines as they can happen in different years throughout your NFL career, which gives Face of the Franchise even more depth. We're also introducing you to the cast of characters you'll meet throughout your career. For a classic franchise, we've highlighted the updates coming to the mode for Matt NFL 21 on day one. Let's kick it off with face of the franchise. So, like I said before, rise to fame. You start off in high school. Pretty similar to how uh, things started on NCAA uh, if you played that back in the day. You start off in high school. Um, you work your way up and things like that to try to uh, raise your stock and things like that if that makes sense uh here's some images from uh the game itself kind of looking a little blurry in my opinion i don't think these are the best images they could have taken for uh madden 21 but this is what we have so far you and your nice little suit i guess you have your high school interview yeah uh yeah what do you what is it called yeah uh it's a it's called what's the name day signing day national signing day i guess this is similar to that where you have your national interview uh depending on where you rank up amongst your, uh, your other high school peers and things like that then you head off to college it says your college story doesn't end there though you are thrust center stage on national signing day as 10 fbs schools vie for your talents what starts off as a normal signing day ends with a dramatic twist after you don't if you after you don the hat of the school you've chosen to attend once you set foot on campus the stakes get even higher as you not only have the deftly navigate a quarterback controversy right out of the gate but also have to figure out how to appease your domineering old school approach newly minted head coach red o'brien all while attempting to build your draft stock through two challenging seasons of college football and win a college football playoff championship or two along the way. As if that weren't enough, you're thrown out of your comfort zone and into disarray when Coach O'Brien delivers you an ultimatum. Either switch positions to running back or wide receiver or pack your bags and take your chances in the NFL draft. That's absolutely crazy in my opinion because you, throughout high school you're a quarterback. Let's say you're now working out at quarterback. Um, once you get to college, uh you you have that ultimatum where you you have that challenge are you going to win that quarterback position 
Or are you going to switch to running back or wide receiver? I think that's absolutely mind-boggling for EA to incorporate. Um, and it's something new. Like like they said, it's a, you, they give you an ultimatum. And I, I can't see how that – can't wait to see how that plays out. Next, we have the combine and the draft. Since 1982, the NFL combine has been hollow ground for the NFL's next generation of talent to showcase their skills for a prospective team. Now is your turn as you tread those very same grounds and put your abilities to the test amongst your fellow elite up-and-coming talent. But your skills on the field won't be the only thing scouts will be watching as you're forced to step up to the mic at a pivotal press conference and either let fate decide where you go in the draft or help influence which team selects you. This life-changing experience continues when you encounter a chance meeting with legendary NFL commentator Rich Eisen as he helps prepare you for the most crucial event of the combine, the event that can make you or break your career, the illustrious 40-yard dash. I don't really like the way they worded that because the 40 yard dash is so it's it's the highlight of the of the combine but it does not dictate like anything for some of these people's career like Jerry Rice wasn't the fastest 40 yard fastest receiver but he's a Hall of Fame wide receiver you know what I mean like it it doesn't make you or break your career at all so I don't like how they worded that Nice little image in here showcasing. You see the interview with Rich Eisen, things like that. NFL Honors Ceremony. That's dope. I don't. Whoa. Whoa. Let me find out. You make it to the end of the season and you actually have an NFL Honors Ceremony. That's, that's pretty dope. And then the Hall of Fame. Okay. Okay. I see what they're trying to do. We're introducing a new set of coach adjustments that will allow you as the defensive player to customize the depth of your zone drops for underneath zone defenders. We knew about all of this right here from the gameplay deep dive. I won't go too in depth with it. But it says the NFL storylines. Your career will have numerous twists and turns as you navigate at the many obstacles of the NFL where you'll be able to live out NFL storylines ripped from the headlines. Franchise savior. You're entered the NFL as one of the most highly touted prospects in the draft class. And that means an entire organization is putting their Super Bowl hopes and dreams on your shoulders. All-time greats were able to deliver on those championships hopes. Now it's time to prove that you're cut from the same cloth as those legends. Next man up. After being selected in the NFL draft by a team with a solidified starter at your position, it's clear that even your time isn't now. It will come soon enough. How will you win over the veterans in the locker room in the meantime? And if that time comes that you're thrust into action sooner than expected, will you be able to prove you're the man for the job like Russell Wilson did so seamlessly in Seattle? The understudy. Following an up and down college career, you were selected in the later rounds of the NFL draft by team in search of additional depth at your position. Even though it's unlikely that future plans include you, these odds aren't necessarily insurmountable. Tom Brady made the most of his opportunity to step up back in 2001. Can you make the most of yours and earn yourself a starting job? You have better rivals. Whether it's team versus team or player versus player, the best rivalries are forever etched in the NFL's long, illustrious history. Now in the social media era, it's possible for rivalries to become more contentious and public than ever. When you and a defensive player on a division rival get into a war of words on social media, it's only the beginning of the rivalry to come. We have Dream Team. Teams with great talent are forced to face great expectations, Super Bowl expectations. Countless teams have fallen short of, the, of these expectations, like the 2007 Patriots, the 01 Rams, the 98 Vikings. Can you and your dream team come together and complete the dream season? Or are there too many obstacles in the way of a once-in-a-generation greatness? The comeback, the struggle of coming back from a serious injury is too much for many players to overcome, but a handful of legends have been better than ever after making their return. In 2012, Adrian Peterson finished first in MVP voting after suffering a career-threatening injury the previous season. After an injury forces you to sit out most of the career, can you regain your form and reestablish yourself as one of the NFL's best? You have turf war. 
excuse me, after a subpar performance last season, you're suddenly face facing competition for your starting position. But a good old-fashioned battle could end up bringing out the best in everyone involved. Can you hold off the in-house opposition and come out even better than before? Is your job in serious jeopardy? Into the sunset. After a long and storied NFL career, it's just about time to hang up your cleats. That doesn't mean your final act can't be the greatest act yet, though. Your team has declined and your best days may be behind you. But it's time to prove your you still have what it takes to do to right the ship one more time and end your career as a champion. Some of the characters in this story mode include Tommy Matthews, career long rival and friend, played by Ty Sheridan, Reggie Brown, interviewer and friend, played by Michael Beach and Moses Jones, Coach Fetu Vitae, high school legend and football coach, played by Cooper Andrews. Coach Red O'Brien, defensive mastermind college coach, played by Robert Patrick. Snoop Dogg, played by himself. And Rich Eisen, played by himself. And right here, we also have a couple more images. Not too bad. Could have been a little bit better. I, he looks like the high school coach. I believe this is Robert Patrick. <laughs> yeah. Rich eyes and and I saw Snoop Dogg somewhere else. Last but not least, we have the um Man NFL twenty one classic franchise update. The new X Factors will make their way into franchise. More details on X Factors and Man NFL twenty one coming soon. Franchise has an expanded wild card playoff round to match the real life NFL, which now features three games for each conference instead of two. Updated all rookie contract amounts to be more authentic to the actual draft rookie contracts for all seven rounds. Returned Retune, my, excuse me, every position's available abilities to better consider in-game effectiveness of the ability and archetype authenticity. Also made the second ability unlock for most positions 85 overall, was 80 overall in Man NFL 20. Fixed multiple cases and logic of players considered for a dev trade upgrade at the end of the season, not checking correct stat types updates to all team back in depth chart philosophy so they match the team scheme added position specific offense alignment archetype progression buckets for offensive tackle offensive guard and center to capture variance in overall formulas based on positional expectations previously all offensive alignment were pulling from the same progression bucket Fixed an issue where defensive playbooks and schemes for our fictional coaches will be misaligned. Example, 3-4 playbook with a 4-3 scheme. And that's pretty much all they have for franchise, the classic franchise mode. Uh, they kind of did not do anything to the new franchise mode. I don't know why they keep doing that to you guys. But um, I saw a meme earlier today where it was just like... Um, Mutt is their baby. Mutt is their priority. Mutt is what is making them money. Um, they did add a, a, like I said, they did add a new story mode for Rise to Fame. You know that that particular franchise portion of it. But um, that's pretty much it for franchise. You guys have to voice your opinion if you want change uh, for franchise and things like that. But as you can see, this is all you have so far to look forward to if you're a franchise guy uh if you're looking forward to playing this story mode like i am uh because it's one is going to be great content with all the different paths and things like that face of the franchise rise to fame be sure to cop the game because it will be or be sure to tune into the channel because it'll be cool to see uh where i end up and uh I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, drop a like. Comment down in the comment comment section your frustrations, your your love, whatever it is. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, man, remember to be great. I'm out.